period. So what does it mean by period? Period usually is denoted by the symbol T. Yeah? So the period T of an oscillating system is defined as the time. So period is the time. Eh? Okay, it's the time required for one complete oscillation. So you see, you need to know what is complete oscillation, then only you can tell what's the period. Eh? Okay, now what does this mean? Let's say we have a pendulum. Okay, let me draw the pendulum. Okay, so this is the pendulum. And then this pendulum is oscillating uh, left, right, left, right. And then some, if you use a stopwatch to measure the time for the oscillations, and you'll find that um, this pendulum take, let's say 30 seconds, 30 seconds for 15 oscillations. Now this oscillation means complete oscillations. It take 30 seconds to move uh, 15 complete oscillations. So one, two, three, okay? So 30 seconds. Now if you take 30 seconds to make 15 complete oscillations, it means it take two seconds, two seconds for one complete oscillations, right? Okay, so two seconds to make one complete oscillations. And this two second is the period of these oscillations. So period is the time taken for one complete oscillations. Eh? Okay, uh, to find the periods, we take the time taken divided by the number of oscillations. So that is what how we find period, eh? and uh, that is the meanings of period. Frequency. So what does it mean by frequency? So by definition. Frequency F is the number of complete oscillation that take place in one second. It means how many complete oscillation in one second. Eh? And the SI unit of frequency is Hertz, eh? Hertz or uh, S to the power of negative one. Eh? So this, this is called per second, eh? per second. And uh, this is equal to Hertz, eh? Hertz. So frequency is how many complete oscillation in one second. For example, let's say we have a pendulum. It makes two complete oscillations in one second. So, so what's the frequency? Two complete oscillations in one second. The frequency is two hertz. Eh? Two hertz. Two complete oscillations in one second. The so frequency is two hertz. How about this one? 10 complete oscillations in two seconds. So what's the frequency? Yes, it's five hertz, right? Five hertz. Eh? 10 complete oscillations in two seconds means that, 10 divided by two means that five complete oscillations in one second. Eh? Five oscillations per second. So that is the frequency. A frequency is how many complete oscillations in one second. Okay, 10 in two seconds, five in one seconds, right? Okay, so the frequency is five hertz. How about this one? Eight complete oscillations in five seconds. So the frequency is equal to eight divided by five. Eh? Eight divided by five, and this is equal to 1.6. 1.6 hertz, okay? So you see, frequency not necessary, it must be in round number. Okay, it can be in fractions or a number with a decimal point or, or decimal place, eh? okay? So the frequency can be 1.6 hertz, eh? okay? Uh, the last one, seven complete oscillations is six seconds, and so therefore the frequency is uh, seven over six, eh? seven over six hertz. So you can leave your answer in fractions, eh? or you can uh, use your calculators to find the answer, okay, and uh, give your answer in decimal place. Okay, so that's frequency, yeah? that's frequency. Relationship between frequency and period. Frequency can be related to period by the following equation, f equal to one over t, uh, where f is the frequency and uh, t is the period. Now, make sure that you use the capital letter t yeah, for period, yeah? because sometimes some students, they, they use the small letter t, yeah? they write f equal to one over T. That's not correct, okay? Uh, usually we use the small t to denote time.
okay, time taken. And we use the capital letter T to denote period. So make sure that you use the capital letter T and not the small letter T. Frequency, yeah? frequency F equal to one divided by period. And make sure that you remember this formula. For example, for example, let's say we have an oscillating system and it oscillates and we found that the period of this oscillating system is equal to two seconds. Means that it takes two seconds to make one complete oscillation. Eh? So period equal to two seconds. So by using this formula f equals to one over t, then we found that eh? uh, we substitute t equal to two, two seconds. Okay, and then we found that f equal to 0 0.5 hertz. Okay, so if you know the period, then you can find the frequency. And vice versa, you know the frequency, you can find the period. Eh? Uh, so that is how we find uh, frequency from period. Usually it's quite hard for us to count how many oscillations in one second, but it's easy for us to find how much time taken for one complete oscillation. Uh, and then we use the periods to find the frequency. Yeah? Example one, given that a pendulum makes uh, 20 oscillations in 25 seconds, find the frequency of the pendulum. Uh, so to find the frequency, first of all, we need to find a period, right? It makes 20 oscillations in 25 seconds. So therefore the period T equal to uh, 25 seconds divided by 20. 25 seconds divided by 20 oscillations and uh, by using your calculators you should find that the answer is 1.25 uh, seconds okay so the period is 1.25 seconds now after we get the period okay we found the period then we can find the frequency okay because the questions would like us to find the frequency so by using the formula f equal to 1 over t, the t is 1.25. So 1 divided by 1.25. So what's the answer? 1 divided by 1.25, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. OK, so 0 0.8. Uh, the unit of frequency is hertz. Uh, so the frequency is 0 0.8 hertz. Eh? The period is 1.25 seconds. So you see, uh, usually they won't give you a very direct questions. Okay, so they will give you oscillations and time taken, and then from this os number of oscillations and time taken, you can find the period, and from the period you can find the frequency. Yeah? Okay, so it's very important for you to know the relationship between the frequency and the period, eh? which is given by this formula.